See guys, that's exactly what you don't want to happen. There we go. I guess that makes for good footage. Fucking broke the, uh, holy fuck. That's exactly what you don't want to happen. All right guys, well, I guess I gotta set this sucker up again. <laughs> so what you're seeing here is uh, lower control arms. So these are for an SN95, these are BMR units. So really super nice, uh, very rigid. And they're designed again for an SN95 Mustang. So since I uh, upgraded my brakes to the bare, bare 11 inch with 11 inch rotors, uh, and I converted over to SN95 or 1994 to 2004 style spindles to get these brakes to work here on this 1984 Thunderbird because they didn't make a brake kit aftermarket for the factory spindles that came with this uh, car. Um, kind of an oddball year, so 82 or 70, yeah, 82, 82. They had uh, a weird setup. Anyways, these are the factory. A arms and hopefully you can see that guys I think you can yeah so you can see up to this side's better so I'm gonna replace the lower a arms here with the nice BMR units and uh, a lot more rigid probably way better handling so lower control arm as you can see here we've got our BMR unit the new one here and this is the old factory stamp steel lower control arm that was on this car 1980 Ford Thunderbird. Anyways, there is a little bit of a difference. The uh, ball joint here, as compared to this one, is one inch further outboard. So that's gonna change a little bit of our steering uh, geometry. We're gonna have to play with it a little bit for the tie rod ends. So the tie rod ends are gonna have to come out one inch so we can adjust that. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to show you the procedure here for a uh, lower control arm job. And over here on the bench, we have, of course, have our spring and we've got our spring compressors on there. So right now the extended length is about 16. I've got to get it to about 13 or 12 and a half so I can get it in there nicely. So when I put the lower control arm in with the fasteners here, I'll shoot another scene and I'll show you how uh, I pivot it. And I've got the air jack underneath the car, which I'll show you right now. Let me just grab the light. This one's already done on this side. Uh, I'll give you a quick look over here. Hopefully you can, yeah, there you go. You can see it. There's the lower control arm, the spring. So I worked out a procedure, so I'll follow the same procedure on the other side. So when I get the control arm in here, I got my air jack here and we can lift the car on this side to give us more room here for our, our control arm to pivot. And we got, like I said, we got to get our spring in there. So the further it goes down, the better we have more access. And then secondly, I got my jack here where I took the wheels off and I'm going to use this to basically jack it up and get our ball joint stud into our, into our spindle. Hopefully you can see this right here so we'll jack because there's gonna be a lot of tension there so we can jack this guy up and get our stud right into here get our nut on there and then it'll hold everything in place so that's the procedure I'll use all right guys so big moment here so I've compressed the spring it's about 14 inches from the original 16 so we're gonna see see what happens here hopefully this goes okay so I've got my setup ready to go as you can see, we've got the air jack up, so we have enough clearance here. There's about 14 inches here. Hopefully you can see that. And we're gonna to try to fit the spring in now without a disaster. Let's see what happens. Fuck, might have to go a little bit higher. See what happens. Fuck. A bit more.
see you guys. Fuck, it's almost there. I'm gonna have to go crank this bitch down a bit, guys. Cause that's the maximum it's gonna go high. Fuck. Just a bit more. Jesus Christ, it's fucking. We just need a little bit more here, guys. bit more. Let's see if this works. You just gotta play with it. So we got that in there. So now, just try to jack it up a bit. Shit. So all we gotta do here, guys, is we gotta get our stud into our spindle. So we'll see if this works. Okay guys, so my fucking light fell on the ground. Hopefully you guys can see this, so I'm just going real slow. I just gotta line up the, uh, let me just grab that light, I think we're okay. Nice to have a cameraman right now. A big moment here, guys. this thing. Shit. I guess that's gonna have to do. Okay, we got it in there, guys. So now, I just gotta... Now we're lowering it. The air jack. And as you can see there, guys, hopefully... Okay, so...
Yep, that's not gonna work. See guys, that's exactly what you don't want to happen. There we go. I guess that makes for good footage. Fucking broke the, uh, holy fuck. That's exactly what you don't want to happen. All right guys, well, I guess I gotta set this sucker up again. <laughs> well, that was fun. All right guys, so I compressed the spring a little bit and I got it in. Uh, so what happened was our saddle sheared off here, but what that, I didn't put it back. So what it actually did is it gave me some more, this went lower. So it actually let me put the spring in there. I did compress it a bit more. And as you can see here, I've started the nut. So we're just gonna uh, tighten this, up. well, I already got it quite a bit. It just got some slight tension still on the uh, jack here. Just wanna line it up with a hole in the uh, stud. So that was fun, as you guys saw in a previous scene there, thing exploded on me. So, you gotta be really super careful when you're doing stuff like this. Luckily, didn't get hurt, so I'm just gonna line up the castellation with the hole in the stud. So we'll just go one more, a little bit more. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. We'll just go to we'll just go to this one here, right there. It's hard, kind of hard to see. Not sure you guys can even see this, but anyways, yeah. So there it is, right there. The hole in our ball joint stud is now in line with the castellation, so we can put the cotter pin through, so it doesn't come off. And again, we've got our spacer here, so that's good. Yeah, that was fun guys. Uh, previous scene, this thing exploded on me, sheared off the saddle, so a lot of pressure here, so see what happens now. We'll go down real slow, should be okay. Yeah, see that? Yeah, we're good. I still got the uh, spring compressors in there. Can you see that? So that actually worked out, so by accident, shearing off this saddle here, I had, this could go lower so I could get the spring in there easier, so kind of weird how shit goes, but that's what happens. So now what we'll do is we'll take off our spring compressor here and then uh, put a carter pin in. And then of course you can see how this is, our tie rods have to be readjusted because again, the ball joint on this one is outboard of our factory units about an inch or maybe even more. So we're gonna have to redo our steering geometry again, but that's fine because these, these are all adjustable, our tie rods. I'm probably gonna have to get a longer 916 18 rod in here just so we have the proper engagement still so but we'll see but the objective here was to get these springs on and uh, you saw the explosion so a little bit of action so now I'm just gonna loosen the tension here hopefully yeah. and I've got WD-40 on our on our springs too so Just gonna loosen the tension. I don't think you guys want to see me do this, but uh, yeah. So I'm just gonna take this off here. Yeah, it's always a pain in the ass when you do springs, guys. Luckily. Didn't get hurt when the thing exploded, let go. Uh, yeah, we're pretty lucky. Nothing flew out and impaled me. <laughs> so that was a little bit of action for the night there, guys. So as you can see, got the uh, spring in there. It's a little bit of difficulty. Got our castellated nut on here with our spacer. We got our cotter pin in there for safety. These fasteners for the control arm 28 mil both of them have been torqued 130 foot pounds so that's good um, got the steering rack 
fastened back in there as you can see and also as you can see plain as day we got tow in now because as I said before the factory lower control arms they had the ball joint one inch inboard so we're actually sticking out further now so we've got, we're gonna have to adjust we're gonna have to adjust our uh, tie rod ends we're gonna have to come out that same distance and I believe it's about one inch because I measured from the center to the ball joint stud center and uh, yeah it varied by uh, one inch one inch difference so so yeah we'll do that um, at a later date but again the job for the day I'll make and for the video here is just to get these springs in and you saw the little uh, mishap we had with the jack so that was kind of fun but anyways guys uh, yeah so I'll put this video together pretty quick uh, just uh, outlining what I did to get these uh, springs in and, and again these are factory springs just painted uh, the problem with the BMR um, lowering springs one and a half inch I couldn't get them in time because of uh, again COVID uh, COVID's over now but again there's uh, supply chain problems still going on so yeah so they didn't have any in stock so I just decided to paint these just to get it going so anyways so that was the job for the day getting the uh, springs in kind of a pretty scary job but uh, looked like it actually did work pretty good so we're good our nuts on there everything's in there we got our nipple for the uh, uh, the uh, the grease for the uh, ball joint I uh, mean put a little bit more in there but again I'm just gonna redo these tie rods get them exactly straight and they're gonna have to come out an inch so we'll adjust that and then uh, road test and uh, should be good anyways guys uh, thanks for the continued support and uh, just another job in project turbo LS uh, here's the old shit as you can see what a nightmare that's why the handling suck because these things, well, it's 42 years old, right? It's 1984. As you can see, it's just crap. It did work, but uh, you've got the new ones on there now, so this will be a lot stiffer, way better handling, everything like that. So, uh, yeah, so I'll update again. Uh, and we'll put another video together. Thanks, guys.